We're live, yes? Yeah. So, hi. Um, I see we have two people in the room with us. I'm Mrs. Bradford. I'm the program leader for the Black Collegians program. We'll get started in maybe a couple of minutes just to allow other people to come in. And my uh, colleagues here, Salima Muwakil, Angelia Johnson, and they're really the ones who are gonna be leading this session to talk about the Black Legions Club. So I hope that you all are doing well in this COVID environment. Um, and we will get started soon. Oh, we got down to one viewer now. Let's hope some other people come on in with us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's a beautiful day outside. I'm glad that it's sunny because I can't deal with overcast. <laughs> when it starts getting cold. Mm. Oh, now we have four. We have four people. Welcome, welcome. So glad that you're in the house. It says there's five of you. It says five. Oh, you know what? I think sometimes I'm supposed to, I don't know if I'm supposed to refresh or what. Oh, Mr. Blades is in the house, our AS counselor, <laughs> and Dr. Rodriguez, our dean of student life, <laughs> and Safari Allen, our AS president, who's also in the Black Legion, and Matt Wong, our IT person who we love. God bless him. <laughs> welcome, welcome, everyone. <laughs> we will start in just a little bit. Oh, I wish it was so that we could, uh, that Tofari could speak, but they'll get a chance to meet her soon. <laughs> so I will go ahead and start speaking. So again, I'm Mrs. Bradford. I coordinate the Black Collegians program. And you are in the space for the Black Collegians Club. We're so excited that you decided to join us today. I am going to just talk briefly about the Black Collegians program. And then I'm going to turn it over to Salima and Angelia because they're going to be talking about the club, which is the purpose of this. But we just wanted to give you a little bit of background about the program itself too. Um, so last year, the Black Legions program, Omoja Community, was celebrating our 30th anniversary. Woohoo! It is um, one of the longest standing programs in the state centered on African descent students. Um, and we are all about family and supporting you and helping you transition on to a four year school and or getting your AA degree. Um, I do want to say that the club is a huge part of the program. So we offer several different things in the in the program, including counseling and tutoring and book vouchers and priority enrollment um, classes that you can take. But it's really the definitely I mean, we cannot have a program without having students. And the club is such a huge part of that. And the leadership of uh, the of the club is really the leadership of the program. Um, whereas the Black Allegiance program started in the fall of 1989 with six students, and currently we have over 545 students right now, um, the club started somewhere in the mid-90s. I started at SMC in 1997, so it was already a very well-established club. It's also one of the longest-running clubs on campus. Um, we have consistently had a club every semester, so ever since it started. So I'm so excited about that as well. And this semester is um, no uh, different in that we, thank goodness, have some wonderful leaders who have stepped up to even run the club in this remote environment. Uh, in order to join the program, there are orientations um, that are scheduled via Zoom. You can uh, go to our website, and I will also put in the chat um, how to contact us through our SMC email for Black Collegians. We have several counselors who are available for you. They are absolutely lovely people. And um, I'm just grateful and thankful to be able to work with some amazing students Honestly, like over the years, I have had some outstanding 
not just students, but just humans. Um, and two of them are right before you. And I'm just excited that they will have a chance to share with you um, some pearls of wisdom, but also to talk about kind of what we um, have planned for you. So let me introduce first the um, amazing, incomparable, outstanding, phenomenal, Miss Salima Muakil, who is our fall 2020 president. Thank you, Ms. Bradford, for those lovely words. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Salima Mawakil. I'm going to be your fall 2020 president for the Black Collegians Club. So I just want to give you a, well, first, I want to thank you for being here with us today. And I'd like to just give you a quick background about me. Um, I started in the Black Collegians Club in 2018, and I was just a member. And then from then, I was the liaison, and then I was uh, secretary, and then I went to VP, and now you're president. Um, so the Black Collegian Club, what it means to me, it's like, I know people, we stress academics a lot, but for me, it's definitely like family. The first thing I, word I can think of when I think of Black Collegians is I think of the word family because um, a lot of times um, we deal with things that are outside academics. Like a lot of times when students are like not doing well, it's not because they're not smart enough. It's because something is going on in their life at home or relationship wise or school. And then like, this is what we can this is who we can like, you know, talk to a lot of times our, our counselors and our peers and stuff. So that is like a, the big thing I would think of the Black Collegians Club. It's definitely family when I think of it. Um, some of the activities I would like to say about that we host uh, when we were on ground because um, you're missing out a lot from the, just being online. So a lot of the on ground activities, we would have something like Dave and Busters, which was really big for us. We did like we do. Um, funding to support our end of the year banquet. And so we had like an amazing time. Everyone came out, not just us, like other clubs came to support us, which was really cool. And we saved up enough money to have a really nice banquet that we have um, every, at the end of the semester, we either have a, a banquet in the fall or the spring. And most of that money goes to the banquet. Um, we also have Club Row where we decorate our booth and we, um, we do posters and we dress up. The last one was called Pumpkin Patch for us. And we all had like um, orange t-shirts and we had like our pumpkins and we had um, scarecrows and every, it was really, it was really a, a fun time. I enjoyed that one. And then we also have, of course, our club meetings. So um, within our club meetings, we really talk about a lot of things that are relevant to what's going on in society at the time. Uh, one of our club meetings was about when Nipsey Hussle died, we talked about like the things that he did for the community and like what happened, what caused his death and like, you know, all the different things about that. Um, some other things we talk about also in club meetings have to do with like hair care or self care or just like having a, a good time or like just, you know, especially like um, also to like about having burnout during school, like how to deal with these kind of things. So it's not only just academics. We also have a, we try to have a lot of good times. Also too, we did some stuff like um, skating. We did ice skating at one point. <laughs> we did roller skating. Um, and I think we also did a couple of museum trips and things like that. So we do have like a well-rounded fun time. So come and check us out. Um, what else? Let me see here. Um, how to join our club? Show up, just come to our meetings. You only need about, I think it's three, right? For the semester. So for the program, three workshops or activities and club meetings. Activities that is in the program. Okay, awesome. So we need three, but I would suggest coming to as many as possible because statistics show that the more involved you are on campus, the better your grades are, the better your experience is with campus. It just like you will flourish. And I would say that I tried to come to every meeting before I even made it on the board. And I just had a phenomenal, phenomenal time. I connected with students, with the faculty, and it just made my experience at SMC so much better because just from coming to the meetings. Um, some gems of wisdoms I would like to drop on you guys is, um, first of all, enjoy your time here at SMC because a lot of times people try to rush the experience. They're trying to rush to go, rush to go to UCLA, rush to go to USC, rush to go to wherever because we're very highly motivated here at SMC. But please like slow down and enjoy your time here because one day you'll be looking down, doing a math problem, and the next minute you'll be looking up and you're graduating. And I have friends who are at UCLA and other places and they all they always call me and be like, enjoy your time at SMC. You're gonna be, <laughs> you have no idea what, um, how great it is. So 
enjoy your time here. It, it goes by fast. You think two or three years goes by slowly, but it goes by like that and um, you'll miss it. You will. You'll probably even come back and see some of your professors and your counselors. I bet you on that. Um, another one thing I want to talk about is utilizing your professor's office hours. A lot of people just don't go to office hours, period. They don't even show up. So virtually a lot of times if you show up, it's most of the time it probably just be you and the professor and that gives you one-on-one -on -one time. And it also shows the professor that you care about the subject matter and they, on, on average, whenever I go to office hours and the professor has seen like within a month, not even within a month, I would say within two weeks of the semester, they're giving me extra tidbits on how to do better in their class because I've they've, they've seen that I care. So show up to office hours. Um, know where your resources are. The biggest resource I would say for besides the Black Collegians Club is to know about the grade distribution. This is the number one thing about how to pick your classes. Don't just... Um, focus on rate my professor because that only tells you one side of the story. The other side is their grade distribution, like how many A's is a professor giving? It also tells you basically A's through F's that a professor gave. So if a professor is giving no A's at all in their class, that's maybe not a professor I would take because a cup because students are always going to be, it's going to be one or two students that are going to gonna get an A. So I wouldn't take that professor. But if you see more of like an even distribution or more A's and B's, then that's a professor that I would bank on taking. Um, Getting going to tutoring early is another gem, I would say, especially when it comes to STEM classes. You can't study the night before in a STEM class and think you're going to get an A the next day. It's probably not going to happen, most likely, unless you're already familiar with the material. So I would suggest going to tutoring early, especially with Edwin. We, I call him the math god. <laughs> so um, he's amazing. If you if you go in the beginning early, you, you can digest the material in small bits which can help you. Because of Edwin, I got an A in Math 50 and Math 54. He is just phenomenal. So I would highly suggest taking your time to get familiar with our um, with our tutoring services. They're really good. Um, I also want to say that this is, a, if you're coming in as a first time student from high school or non-traditional or whatever, this is a clean slate for you. If high school didn't go so well at, like you wanted it to go, this is a new, fresh beginning. I didn't do well in high school. I, got a, I graduated high school with a 1.6 GPA. If someone had told me, girl, you about to go to SMC and be the president of Black Collegiate Club, I'm like, shut your mouth. What you talking about? You know, it's a fresh start, clean slate. No college is going to ask you most of the time, what did you do in high school? Unless it's like an Ivy League. And even then they're going to want to see like, how is this person doing in, from that time that they, you know, are they going better? Are they getting better with their classes? That's what they're going to want to see. So I would definitely... Think about really giving your all now. Fresh start. Whatever happened in the past, it's done with. Let's focus on getting it together right now. Um, what else would I would like to say? Oh, yes, doing your work. Doing your work in advance is very important for especially for online classes. In my classes, we have like um discussions like twice a week. And I would see a lot of students waiting because uh, my class, we'd have to have our discussions done by Sunday at midnight and a lot of students were waiting till like Sunday at 11.45 to get that done. Like you don't wanna put, give yourself that kind of anxiety. A lot of people think like, oh, I do well under pressure. Give yourself a couple of days to get your assignment in. That way you're not rushing, you're not fumbling or whatever and you're just more confident or whatever and you have you will have a more likely chance to get an A if you do in advance and also because we, because we're in a tech, tech because of technology if something goes bad the computer goes down or whatever you have time to fix your situation versus something last minute the teacher is not going to want to you know deal with that or whatever so um that's pretty much all i have to say right now and so i would like to turn it over to my directors of activities julia so she can talk about her experience with smc <laughs> Hello, everyone, and uh, thank you for having me today. And I'm excited to um, just explain a little bit about who I am um, and why I decided to run for um, club officer or director of activities in the Black Collegians program. Um, my name is Angelia Johnson, and I um, I'm from Orange County, uh, and after seeing that there were other colleges near me, um, I 
still came to the conclusion that I wanted to attend uh, SMC not only because they are um, number one transfer school, um, but also because it's closer to the beach, it's closer to LA, a lot of in a lot of other places where my friends are. Um, I am a sociology major. Um, and I'm interested in becoming a behavioral health specialist. Um, I wasn't really interested at, interested in it at first, um, but I came to that conclusion after switching my major um, a few times um, with the help of some friends, uh, analyzing my interests, which is something that I feel as a um, first time student, um, at college, you you will learn um, a lot more about yourself, especially uh, within your studies. Um, one day also, um, while I was in the counselor's office, um, it is the first time that I heard about Black Collegians. Um, one of the Black Collegians counselors directed me um, to their office to help me figure out um, what kind of plan I needed um, to reach my goals and succeed in my education. And um, after hearing also about the Black Collegians program and what kind of a family um, a sense of family and friendship, and also just um, a way to be open about um, the mental health of uh, Black students and um, a lot more things when it comes to um, enhancing the educational experience um, as a Black student. Um, it made me want to join Black Collegians. Um, after finishing my summer semester, I decided that I wanted to be a club officer this year um, and that I want to be that friendly, outgoing, and warm welcome to all of you who are interested in joining the Black Collegians program that I received when I um, stepped foot onto campus um, and when I joined the club as well. Um, knowing that the purpose of the Black Collegians program is to allow students to strive, high, strive higher um, and succeed in their goals um, while also having important conversations. Um, it's a place where students, I feel, can truly feel um, themselves and feel welcome. Um, and being uh, director of activities this year um, for the fall, um, I feel it will really push me and allow me to learn more as a student and how to manage my tasks, which is something that is also really important. Um, and that not only do I have a commitment to my education, as you all will as well, um, but I wanted to be able to help make our fall and possible future semesters online enjoyable for our Black Collegians um, because our student experience and studies is important since we are um, distance learning, but it is wonderful that we are still able to uh, see, well, not at the moment, but see each other's faces. Um, uh, by joining the Black Collegians program, you'll be able to um, gain more knowledge and insight uh, to what will be important when you begin your classes this fall um, and your college experience. Um, you'll build meaningful relationships with um, the club officers um, and just with each other. And I believe that it's not only using your resources while you are at SMC um, that's offered to you by the campus, um, but it is also important um, for to be engaged. Um, 
have a desire to be engaged and um, strive a little higher, um, even if it is something that you wouldn't normally do, um, it can end up turning out really great. Um, you can even try to join other clubs that are offered here on campus if it works well with your schedule. Um, but you also will see that you can make a lasting impact. Um, if you're unsure about how the college process is going for you, um, reach out to your professors. Uh, that is something that I feel is really important and the professors are there to help you. Uh, don't be shy or feel like you're being a burden, um, you know, going in to speak to your counselors and ask them, um, get advice from them about certain classes that you think you want to take or that you should take uh, to help you reach your goals. Um, and like Salima said, uh, to attend every class if you can, um, because it is something that will add on to your success when it comes to uh, the fall semester. Um, and I hope that you all will succeed um, in being excellent in all of your endeavors. And I hope to see you all in the Black Collegians program or on campus very soon. That was so beautiful. That it's lovely. Um, I want to add to the things that Salima and Angelia were saying. You know, one uh, Sasha put in the chat: Will students get updates on upcoming meetings and interactions? So, if you're in the Black Allegiance program, we do send out regular emails about our activities, including the club activities. And it just made me think too. Um, I am sure that for Associated students that there will be a way um, to see when clubs will be meeting regularly in the fall semester. So I forgot to add that part of it um, in case you're not officially in the program. But I wanna talk about leadership a little bit because um, I think about when I went to, I, I went to Westchester High School and from there I went to UCLA. And I remember um, my first quarter, I was not living on campus. And um, all I did was go to class and go home. And that was not a good experience at all. And I thought, I am not quite sure that I'm gonna stay here um, because I wasn't making a connection to the campus at all. And I realized as a person who is an introvert and who is shy, that I had to get out of my shell and go seek opportunities to be involved. And that is what I did. And it literally saved me and made me realize that I'm going to stay on this campus. I remember vividly to this day, and that was, oh my goodness, Google was a years ago, my third quarter at UCLA, walking down Bruin Walk and realizing because I had made some connections and got involved with a couple of clubs that I was going to stay. I knew at that moment I was going to stay. And I think that's what, um, you know, Salima and Angelia are trying to make sure to get across to you is that it is, it is so important and it's even more critical right now that you do what you can to be engaged. Um, and it's not just the academic part, but it is the social part. The thing that I love about watching uh, the students in Black Allegiance, the, the club, is the level of leadership that they take on and recognizing and learning and seeing themselves grow into a leader when they didn't really know for sure that that was who they are. They learn how to manage conflict. They learn how to juggle their time and their schedules. They learn um, the value of working together to get a task done, to accomplish great things. I feel like I see them gain a level of confidence that maybe they did not have when they first started out. There are amazing networking opportunities. And it's so funny because right now, as I was talking to you, who's calling me on my phone? A former student. 
um, Dr. Woodard, <laughs> they know Dr. Woodard, who is now a professor at SMC. But those relationships are crucial and they last. Um, when I think about who we are writing letters of rec recommendations for, when it comes to those students who are leaders in the club, I don't need them to tell me what to write. I can write several pages on who they are and how they stepped up and the things that I noticed about them. Um, the things that people across campus see about them. This is a club that is really respected and is sought after when we are, uh, when, the, when the college is in need of people to represent for whatever reason, they come to the Black Allegiance Club because they know that these are true leaders who represent the college well. Um, and it's, it's awesome to just witness and it's great to be in that presence. And we're not going to be remote forever. So uh, I do look forward to the days when, um, when Angela is, you know, trying to plan an activity and it's something that we can do in person, you know? So I want you all to keep that in mind. And I do want to do it just a little bit of a shout out because um, Jocelyn Nguyen is, in the session, you won't be able to see her because she's not listed as a presenter. But Jocelyn Wynn is my colleague in um, the Black Allegiance Program. She's a student services specialist. And for those of you who will go through an orientation to learn about the program, you will get a chance to meet the phenomenal Jocelyn, who is a huge support to students on campus. Um, if we were on ground, you would see people sitting around, <laughs> sitting around her chair, just on the floor and any chair that's available near her, because she is all about trying to make sure that you have the resources, that you are supported. And so she's a vital part of not just the program, but the club as well. So I just wanted to give a shout out and hope that one day that you have a chance to meet her. Selena, anything else or Angelia that you'd like to say? I wanted to say that, um, you know, being on campus, especially as a, a minority student, as a black student, it can be very isolating. And, you know, like for example, we black students on campus, we're only 8% of the total population. So a lot of times you'll go into your classroom, you might be the only black student in that class or maybe the most two other students, you know, black collegians, it made me feel like I was at an HBCU. Like I didn't, ha I didn't feel that loneliness of like, oh my God, what am I doing here? Am I the only black student? Like, no, I, I didn't even feel that because I was so immersed in the black culture, being in our meetings and being with our counselors. I didn't have time to even think like that because all my support was there. So that's just one of the other things I wanted to talk to, just to, to reiterate to you guys or whatever. When, whenever we switch from an on online to back on campus or whatever you know it's more than just academics if you are feeling sad or lonely or something else is going on don't not ask for help especially as black students i remember in high school if something was going on with me i did not want to ask the professor or a counselor because i feel like i was a bother you're not a bother if you don't wait until the end of the semester when you're failing a class or something's going on to reach out, reach out as soon as you have a problem, as soon as you're feeling sad or as soon as you're, you're not understanding your coursework or whatever it may be, something's going on at home, whatever, come in, talk to a counselor, even talk to one of us, like, shoot, give me a hug, whatever. Mama B gives great hugs. Ms. Bradford <laughs> gives the best hugs. If you just want to get a hug and you don't even want to talk about it, we're here for that too. So don't wait. Don't wait. Just come on in. <laughs> Come on in. Come on in. <laughs> <laughs> and I did put in the chat um, that we are planning to meet every Tuesday from 12 to 1. Um, we do have to be installed officially through a process with associated students. And then once we are installed, then we will be meeting regularly throughout the semester. And um, even though your officers are there to create topics and discussions, they welcome any input mm -hmm. from club members to say what it is that they would like to have a discussion on. And there are times the club members are even asked, if you want to lead a discussion on something, you are more than willing and able to do that. Let's have a conversation about that. Um, and they would absolutely you know, welcome that too. Yes, love that. 
So if there are any questions, I do want to see if there if there's anything um, that we need to cover that you can put in the chat. And I did put in the chat to our contact information, our email, our Instagram. Um, I want you to feel free to be able to do that. Am I seeing anything else, Angelia? Do you see anything? No other. Okay. 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 Well, we hope that you join us. Please, please, please. Yes. Someone put it in the chat, Salima. Um, you're so pretty. I'll take it. You know, <laughs> I will take you. Anything I can get, I will take it. <laughs> I appreciate that. Okay. All right, family. Well, thank you for joining us today. I hope that you had a good week and that you had some good experiences with the other Welcome Week workshops that are being offered. School starts on Monday. Get a planner. Oof. Get a planner. Get a, <laughs> Get a planner for your class. Salima so requires all the officers to make sure that they have a planner, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And sure. like Salima was saying also, you know, it is a fresh start. So not only is it just for the semester, but each day can be a fresh start for you. So, you know, get that calendar, you know, push yourself to join. Um, look in on a club, figure out how you want to learn, how you want to take that first step um, when you start. So that's all I have. I love how you say things. Angelia, that was that's a gem right there. Oh, my there. God. I just love it. <laughs> mm. Mm. That made me think. Um, I just love it. That made me think. Fall semester, uh, every Monday, our therapist, Thea Winkler, is doing intention setting Mondays. So it goes right along with what Angelia is saying. Every Monday, it's about what are your intentions for the week? What do you want to accomplish? And it doesn't have to be just academic. It's It could be I am guaranteeing and working on how to be um, happy in this environment? What am I going to do to make myself happy? What am I going to do to reward myself this week? Um, so intention setting Mondays are going to be a really, really exciting experience um, to start your week off right. And I love what Angelia said about every day is a new day. Every day is a new day. Whatever you did that. yesterday is what happened yesterday. You're going to start a new when you wake up and you are blessed to open up your eyes in the mornings, right? I'm mm -hmm. putting it on my refrigerator. Every day is a new day. Every Fresh day morning. is a new day. <laughs> I love it. All right, family. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Salima Thank you. and Angelia. Have Thank a you. great one.